In this video, we provide the solution to question number two for practice exam number four for Math 1220, in which case we have to compute the limit of the sequence where A is given as negative one to the N times N plus two over n. So when I look at this, the first thing that gives me some concern here is going to be this negative one to the n. So this is an example of an alternating sequence. Now an alternating sequence is convergent only if uh, the limit goes to zero. And I'm not talking about an alternating series. I'm talking about an alternating sequence. The sequence will alternate back and forth between positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So if you ignore the negative one for a moment, if you ignore that, notice this thing is going to go off towards um, n, n plus 2 over n. Since it's a balanced ratio, this is going to go off towards their coefficients, which is just 1 in that situation. But you, it's 1 times this negative 1 to the n. That's where this thing would converge to. So this is going to, uh, the limit here wants to be negative 1 to the n, uh, which of course, if you're allowing n to be infinity, right, you're getting, you get the limit would be negative 1 to the infinity. That's not a number. Um, if it, it's, it's switching back equally often between 1 and negative 1, there is no limit here. This is an example of a divergent sequence here. An alternating sequence can only be convergent if its limit's 1, and this thing is not getting closer to, sorry, it's a, an alternating sequence is convergent only if its limit is 0. That's what I meant to say. Um, this thing is not getting close to 0. It's getting close to 1 and negative 1, and that makes it divergent.